Hello, everyone. So a while back, I mentioned while I was going for my surgery and stuff, but I'd also recently been diagnosed with sleep apnea and I got a CPAP machine. I wanted to talk about that. Now, I can't really bring the CPAP machine on camera, not because it's big or anything like that, but because it's got a bunch of barcodes on it that I don't want to have on camera. Um, but suffice it to say, um, well, let's, let's get at the beginning. A while back, I had people comment, like when I spent a night in a hotel room with relatives and going to family reunions or that sort of thing, that hey, maybe you snore. And I dismissed it. Nah, it's nothing, not really anything. Even after um, some people who I, in various online communities who I deeply work, I deeply respect, like Ryan Davis of Giant Bomb passed away suspected to be due to complications from sleep apnea, but I can't say for certain one way or another. Certainly one of the pit bulls, sorry, public enemy rather, from ECW also passed away from sleep apnea. So I was aware of the sleep apnea thing that could kill you. Then uh, my mom got diagnosed with sleep apnea, got a CPAP machine. I still didn't think about it, about getting tested or anything like that. And... Then various podcasters I listen to, um, some of the, the um, people on the Level podcast, part of the Duck Feed Network, mentioned they had uh, sleep apnea. It had gotten tested and finally got a CPAP machine. and mentioned how much better having they, they slept, how much more rested they felt after having a CPAP machine and helping deal with sleep apnea. I'm like, and on part of this, I'd started a new job and I'd hadn't been sleeping well for some reason, for various reasons. And, um, at point where, like I, they had some spots at work where I could comfortably on my breaks, take a nap because it's, it's my break. It's my break time. I can take a break, 15 minute break, a nap on a 15 minute break. And a couple of occasions when I woke up, I noticed I had, had been snoring. So I'm like, I have, ins I'm a job. I have a job with insurance. I am out of the pandemic or, or just say like we are in the course of pandemic where I can go to doctor's appointments and get tested and that sort of thing. Let's get tested for sleep apnea. So I deter found that my that my the sleep clinic nearby of choice, which is the one at OHSU, is a network for my insurance. So I scheduled an appointment. I talked to my doctor, explained what was going on. Um, I brought up the admittedly non-diagnostic, it's, it's but but, diag but the data from my Fitbit uh, that they record that did recorded while I was sleeping and how well I'd slept and waking up a bunch in the middle of the night and. I was that I was like awake for an hour and a half and all this that and the other thing. Um, so they went, okay, you're snoring. Weight wise, you are above where you should normally need to be. We're going to, okay, schedule a, um, a sleep therapy appointment, a sleep therapy test, and find out just terminate. Do you have sleep apnea? So. OHSU, since the pandemic, it turns out, has gotten things set up where they can do sleep apnea testing at home. In the past, you'd have to basically go into a hotel room where uh, tech would hook up a bunch of stuff to you, um, and then you'd try to sleep and see how things went um, in the morning. Here, um, we have a actual, like, here you do it at home in your home bed in the environment that you sleep in normally, as close, getting you basically actually mitigating a lot of the variable or reducing a lot of the variables in terms of what would impact your sleep, so to speak. Um, when you're sleeping in a hotel bed, you are sleeping in a very different environment from what you'd be sleeping in at home. Uh, your bed is bigger. Your the pillows aren't quite right. Um, all this, that, and the other thing. Sometimes you, I, I found that I don't actually actually sleep as well in a hotel room as I do in my bed at home. This is partially an autism thing, uh, being in an unfamiliar environment. So I got the test kit, came home, hooked everything up. I had an oxygen sensor that I put on my finger. I put a breathing sensors, um, the nose tubes over my head and up my nose, a little strap across my chest to measure my breathe, the rise and fall of my chest as I breathe and all this, that, and the other thing. Went, went to sleep. Next day, brought it in um, to the sleep clinic and dropped it off. And 
few weeks later, got the results, and yes, I have sleep apnea. It's not, it could be worse. I'm not having anything which actually stops my breathing in the middle of the night, but there are interruptions in terms of how the airflow works and that sort of thing. So I got a CPAP machine and got a couple different mass types. And I've got to talk about the mass types I got, which what I'm currently using now. We'll see how well this shows up with the, with the, uh, uh, background. I may have to turn that off. We'll see. But in any case, so the first one I got is a nose pillow model. Um, looks like this. There's a little, okay. Back strap. You can see that, that that goes behind your head. And you wear it like this. The idea being is you breathe through your nose um, and pressure, keep your tongue hold to the top of your mouth. Um, through this, it has and it handles airflow with distilled, with um, not just air but air vapor with distilled water coming from your coming from the actual CPAP machine. Where you get CPAP, you put in distilled water in there. It heats it, kind of vaporizes it, and so there's more. So it's not just air that's this moving through that and going through your sinuses and that sort of thing. Um, but also moisture, which helps keep the inside of your nose from drying out and that sort of thing. Um, that worked okay, um, but a few problems. One, it, it I found that that particular model uh, variety kind of pinches my nose. I don't just mean like with my glasses and that sort of thing, but like when I was wearing it, like it'd be tricky to get comfortable with my nose. It would like pinch at certain times and that sort of thing. Um, didn't necessarily work well with me sleeping on my side because I'm, I'm a side sleeper. I like to, like, but that, that's kind of how I feel comfortable. Not just become from a sleep apnea standpoint, but just in terms of, um, body position and that sort of thing. In fact, honestly, some people have said, you sleep better on your side with like a pillow between your knees. So, I mean, it's not a bad position to sleep in, so it's, it works. Um, and yeah, that didn't quite, so that wasn't quite working for me. It also caused a few issues where when I went in for my surgery, I went, okay, we're going to have, go ahead and bring your CPAP in with you and we'll see if you can put the CPAP on to help kind of while you're under anesthesia make sure your breathing's regular and that didn't work for this because i don't know if you can see very well but there's these two metal bits here um they go around the side on the side of my head which one caused problems with the ct scan when they're doing um a embolization in advance of the surgery and two that the straps obscured the area where they're actually doing the surgery and i no, sorry let's start the side it kind of obscured this area over here, which is where they need to do the incisions and that sort of thing to remove the tumor in the first place. So um, that was a no-go. So instead, I got intubated. I got a an airway tube down my throat and was hoarse for days afterwards. Good times. Um, but instead, after the procedure, I got this one, which is, which is the nose pillow model. Let me put it on. And... I mean, either way, if you're wearing a CPAP machine, you kind of, a CPAP mask, you kind of look stupid, but this one looks a little less stupid to an extent. Um, but that one feels much more comfortable. Additionally, it lets you, with that particular model, it lets you regulate the humidity content of the, um, or not, not me, but the, the CPAP machine, regulate the humidity content of the air coming through which helps in terms of keeping your sinuses clear when you're dealing with, you know, sleeping, trying to breathe while sleeping, particularly in variable times of the year, like allergy season and all that sorts of stuff. Thing times where stuff is in the air that hecks up your breathing and causes problems which can aggravate sleep apnea. So, that one, that one is working better. There's another model that will go instead goes all the way over your nose and mouth, like full face mask. 
that with that one you cannot sleep on your side you have to sleep on your back so with this one i can still sleep on my side which is great i can sleep in the way i feel comfortable sleeping since then my sleep has been steadily improving it is not like my head hits the pillow i go to sleep and i'm not waking up and i'm not getting woke small mini wake-ups in the middle of the night yet but like i am getting significant i'm getting more sleep it's generally more restful sleep um and it is a and like i am so far have been like woken up in the middle of the night a half hour or less the only time i'm up in the middle of the night for an hour and a half or whatever is if it's a situation where something else is going on with me that is causing me to be up not breathing issues which is again a wonderful and significant improvement so this is me saying if you have a way to make sure this is paid for i recognize the fact that insurance is that if i didn't have insurance this would be significantly more expensive but if you are insured and whether you've gotten insurance through your state marketplace or employer or that sort of thing. And if you feel like you're not sleeping well, talk to your doctor and see if you can get tested for sleep. Now, there are other things that can cause you not to sleep well, but again, if you, if your body weight's a little too high, uh, if your body weight's too high, if you snore, that sort of thing, get checked with your doc, talk to your doctor, see if you can get checked may improve it may improve your sleep or the, it, it will improve it will improve your sleep if you get diagnosed and it may save your life Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. I also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.